Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you origami inspired PowerPoint slide. This is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you options A, B, C and D in origami style with icons and text. And similarly, I have created another slide with uh, same color. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. After adding a new slide, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle this much height and width, remove the outlines and go to format shape and give some transparent effect. Add one more rectangle. and this also increase the transparency effect and make it no outline and using the curved arrow you can just bend it so i'm just going to cut this much area the top one select both the objects and say subtract so you end up by getting this shape now you can give some gradient fill here I'm going to use three different colors or three different shades. For example, I'll take some dark orange and then light as well as some more light shade. Or you can choose your own colors here. The transparency level is 100 so for that reason it is not coming up so you have to remove the transparency level and make it zero and press ctrl D to duplicate it and rotate the object and you even you can change the direction of the gradient color First of all, rotate it, flip horizontal. And exactly align it here and reduce the size. And then add one more. You can adjust the color gradings or the shades. Press Ctrl D again and make one more this also you have to rotate it and this one I'm just going to give a gradient fill with only two colors which I'm going to use a dark gray as well as a light gray change the background color to gray color and then just bring it at this level and send to back go to shapes again add a oval shape I'm going to use this as a shadow effect make it no outline gradient fill and type make it a path and make this as transparency to 100% maybe we can change some different color black color increase the transparency level or you can give some soft edges also bring it here tilt it Maybe you can increase the size a little bit. And send this to back. Don't say full back. 
otherwise it will go behind the object I think this is okay press ctrl D and do the similar thing for this shape as well then you can add some text here like I'm just going to option type option A or you can type option 1 2 3 4 also change the font to Oswald or any other font you like increase the font size you can change the color and send this back also and have added some icons where you can download from the nonproject.com or if you have the icons with you you can use it and then you can add uh, some a uh, detailed text here you can add some bullet points or you can add one text is up to you to type that now after adding the text select all the objects and press ctrl G to group it and bring to the left side press ctrl D duplicate and add four options if you want you can add more also if if you have a space ungroup this and start changing the colors one by one any color which you like but make sure that the color combination should be good otherwise the slide looks ugly then Select a good shades of the same color. And using the format, you can apply to the, the back side also and change the direction. Likewise, you can do for this also, but I'm not going to do it. And you can just change the icons, which is already here bring this to front and then send back below the shadow effect and this is the last one first bring it to front and then send back and then you can change to option B, C and D and again group one by one press ctrl G to group then select the C group then the option D group it control G now select all these options go to effects and under reflection select any reflection type I'm going to select this and go to insert shapes select one more rectangle to give a good effect I'm going to make it no outline give a gradient fill I'm going to use two stops one is dark gray and one is a light gray and send this to back So let's see this is how 
your slide looks. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.